Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So looking at the US there, we had a negative day yesterday with a bearish engulfing pattern adding extra weight onto um, the American markets. As a matter of fact, most of the other global equity markets have come off slightly as well. Um, on Tuesday, um, we actually had quite a big sell-off in the Asian markets as well. Uh, a lot of people pointing to uh, a sell-off in the global bond markets impacting a lot of other uh, asset types as well. Uh, but there's been a little bit of a recovery in some of those other markets. Looking at Germany 30 and UK 100, however, um, they are coming off a little bit more aggressively. We'll come back to those in a second. But next potential support is at 17,895. Other technicals relatively neutral, but this is looking particularly top heavy now as well. So moving on to the UK 100, um, very negative candle yesterday, a fall through again today. 6906 is the potential support. We've broken below both moving averages. And the other technicals, albeit they are neutral, the MACD is close to uh, breaking through the zero line, but this looks like a particularly ugly formation that we're seeing right here, and a break below 6906 could open up 6771. Then moving on to Japan 225, uh, bearish engulfing pattern again, another down day today as well. We are now at the bottom of this range. Let me just draw that on a little bit better. Um, we are potentially at the very bottom of this range right now, uh, trading below both moving averages again. Um, accelerating technical indicator still neutral but with the MACD close to crossing the zero line uh, if we go down that much further on here um, this could be quite close to technical breakout which would open up a move towards 18,648 moving on to dollar yen uh, dollar yen as ever not really doing a huge amount get, uh, moving towards the downside I'm seeing sterling and euro accelerating at the expense of the US dollar. So the US dollar is unwinding just now after recent gains in the last couple of sessions. That's probably adding a little bit of weight onto uh, onto the onto this FX pair right now. Um, probably 119 is going to be the next um, target price for uh, dollar. And the next support level should that uh, dollar strength continue to wane. Uh, and people who look to buy, buy a safe haven uh, Japanese yen. So West Texas crude doing a lot better. Um, overnight we saw a big increase, well as the dollar became, came off quite aggressively, we saw a sell off in equities but then a lot more uh, buying in traditional commodities. So copper is up, gold's up and um, West, West Texas crude is also up as well. So we've actually got a technical breakout on West Texas. That now opens up the potential pathway to $64 after breaking through $59.50. So that's an interesting move in West Texas. And today's Wednesday, so we've got crude oil Wednesday, so you do have the inventory data due at 3.30 UK time as well. So looking at gold, broken, breaking above 11.86, we're kind of in the middle of two ranges right now as ever. 12.18 and 11.86 are the levels to be aware of. But to be honest, gold's not where the action is unless we do see a little bit more of a sell-off in the equity markets. Um, moving on to your dollar, um, I guess we're getting quite close to the end of the negotiation period for Greece. Uh, we're going to make more concessions. Um, you've got the ECB and the IMF both buying the next tra uh, tranches of aid for, for Greece, or Greece trying to appease both of those so they can get the, the next source of funding to pay their bills. Um, and the market's certainly thinking that the, um, there's a greater possibility of that happening today than previous. Um, hammer formation actually yesterday, um, a continuation of that trend there today. We really need to get above the tip of this candle here, this doji formation, one spot 1287 is the next potential short term resistance level and a break above that opens up a move towards 116.42. Um, and lots of conversations that we're, we're seeing with uh, Fed members and other people uh, involved with the Federal Reserve is really kind of looking at um, a later rate hike in the US. 2016 now is uh, was being banded around. If it even happens, even then, the way that a lot of the mixed macro data is going right now. So looking at cable, as we get close to uh, tomorrow's general election in the UK, uh, had a little bit of a bounce, um, breaking above potential support uh, resistance. Sorry, one spot 51.85, longer term potential uh, resistance, one spot 54.24, and we've got a, a golden cross coming up on the moving averages. And uh, we've actually got conflicting signals because we do have a, a sell signal in the slow stochastic right there, and we've managed to avoid a cross over the MACD as the MACD histogram is switching directions. So. Economic data wise, whole raft of uh, market PMI data coming out. We've already had some uh, HSPC PMI data from China, came in at 52.9. Anything above 50 is, uh, is bullish. And then we've got retail sales at 10 and for the Eurozone. Uh, Wednesday, also you've got the ADP private payroll numbers and of course the crude oil inventory. So make sure you've got both of those set on your platform with your recurring alerts. Remember Friday's obviously non-farm payrolls and so make sure you sign up to our webinar for that. You can go to support. 
uh, live trader events and sign up that way and that's available to our global client base uh, and if we fast forward on to Thursday you can see you've got manufacturing orders in Germany uh, the housing index for the UK and weekly employment claims in the US. So as ever, keep on the chart forum, make insights part of the layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.